Uh, okay, here we are in an Illustrator tutorial. So I'm going to go to Illustrator. I've opened it up. And this is the first menu you see. This is just our getting started menu. So we are going to create a look at a print document today. My print document has got a name. We'll call it test. It's A4 sheet of paper, which is a normal sheet of paper. We're measuring in millimetres and I can set it whether it's portrait or landscape. So I'm going to say OK and there's my sheet of paper. Now the next thing I want to talk about is all these windows. I've got a lot of windows here that are all out. They seem a bit confusing. The simple way to fix this is just up here where it says essentials. I'm just going to go to a different one. Like I'm going to say like freehand and then I'm going to click it back to essentials. And what that does for me is I've got exactly the same windows but they're all here minimized now. If I hover over them, they'll tell me with the little mouse what it actually is. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to use the brush tool to show you first of all and we'll start with some simple stuff about how Illustrator works. It's a great program but it can be a little bit tricky to start. So I've drawn a line. When I select that line, down here it's showing me that that line's got a black stroke and no fill. So first of all let's see what happens if we add a fill to it. So I double click here, I can pick a colour. Let's pick blue. And straight away now you see my line's got a fill. Now it's not very nice looking like that, so, but it's just to show you what's going on. And if I double click on the black line, let's make that red. And now if I click away, you'll see I've got a red line with a blue fill. One more thing to look at with our lines, up here with our stroke, I could make that stroke a lot bigger. And there again is my red line blue fill. All right, let's click on it again and turn it off. I'll turn the fill off. I'll change my red back to black. The next thing I want to show you is that Illustrator is infinitely editable. So now that I've drawn this line, it definitely doesn't have to stay that way. I'm going to come and pick, instead of my black selection tool, I'm going to click the white selection arrow. What that lets me do is come over here and grab any one of these anchors and actually change the way this line is shaped. And also these anchors have handles that I can pull out and I can actually change anything about this line that I'm not happy with, I'm not happy with how it looks or how it bends. I can change everything that's on this Illustrator document or sorry, in this Illustrator line I can change to be how I want it to be. If I don't like one of these points I can actually press delete and delete it and delete it back. So let's say what I was trying to do was make a letter. Let's say I was trying to make the letter B. I could actually keep playing with this shape until I was happy that it is giving me the shape that I wanted. So if I was trying to get a letter B, I could actually just keep playing around with this. Whoops. If I undo something, just Command Z, I could just keep playing with this until I actually was happy with the shape that I've got. So that's the first lesson with Illustrator. Nothing that you do has to stay that way. You can always come in, play with handles, play with control points, and you can always make your shape different. You can always keep playing with it until you're happy. And that is the end of lesson one.